And uh, obviously incredibly fun to watch. Uh, after all the doubles, we've got tomorrow, uh, we've got Smash Ultimate singles, Melee singles, a lot of FG th FGC things going on, and a lot of other tournaments here. It's been so much fun at DreamHack. We have so much more to come yep. at this final stop before the LCQ to qualify yourself for the Panda Cup. Exactly, like you're saying, and also that $10,000 on the line. Hey, you want to get that listen. money. And this is a team that knows quite oh. a bit about holding W's for twos. This is MVD and ESAM coming up next. This is one of the most storied history teams we have seen, period, in the history of Smash. They've been teaming together for so long. They know each other's habits in and out. They have great communication. They have great synergy with that Pikachu and Snake. That being said, we just saw a little while ago what Omega and Fallen were able to do to Anathema and Psychotics. That was what we expected to be yeah. in this set, but it's not. And instead, it's Fallen and Omega who performed phenomenally. Yeah. However, one thing I think is going to be a bit of a concern. Uh, okay. Pikachu is now on the field. That's going to be much yep. better to not only break up Sora, but also shut down a bit of Joker, because I feel like Omega's Dude. defense was what got them through last time. Now you have the pressure of ESAM to back that up, as well as the KO power of MBD. I agree, and I also think that, uh, I personally think that Snake uh, fares very well against Sora. Uh, Sora is a character who is very good at pressuring shields. Snake. Pulls a yep. grenade and says, I would love, yep. I would love for you to pressure my shield. He has the shield. shield problem. Also, the problem with combos. If you're not perfect on your combos, he rips a grenade, you lose that trade. Yes, exactly. That's why Destroy characters um, have struggled, except for when he's in disadvantage. Yep. But otherwise, getting to him is a phenomenally difficult task. Yes. And Pikachu is another phenomenally dis difficult task to get around that, because if you hit Pikachu on shield, and you didn't do it correctly with a safe option. You are taking a back air to the face. And speaking of said back air, there's one immediately from Isim. Isim gonna go ahead and fastball down to try and cover himself with that thunder. But look at him, even off stage, Proxy already willing to box. Okay. Now we'll find the throw here. Turns the throw back into the fray here. Instead of trying to go for the edge guard, I actually like that a lot. P against Pikachu, you're not going to be able to really edge guard him effectively, especially not with Joker not having Arsene and Sora being on a bad spell. So get him back in the fray there. But unfortunately, yep. these trades are not really going in their favor here. Speaking of those spells too, both Snake and Pikachu are pretty good at kind of baiting it out and going from there. Uh, but uh, so far, it's not been, it, it's, it's actually been Omega on that incredible defense again, only taking 51%, uh, but everybody getting cooked in that platform and it's gonna be um, a Fallen who actually ends up going first. Yeah, unfortunately, the, the, the one true fatality coming out from that one there. A beat does make it back to the stage here. Trade comes out. Pikachu still not dead. And again, it's better to just take your 2v1 than it is to try and edge guard the rat. He's just, he's always going to make it back. All I can imagine in my head, by the way, after you said the one true fatality, after fatality just yes, on sir. screen was him turning back, <laughs> looking at the stage going, what? Oh my god. <laughs> With a simple shrug. But right now, blue team kind of shrugging, wondering what do we do to get in on them? But they do have a KO percentage. Just one up beat from Sora at the ledge on a good read. We'll take out Pikachu, but that quick attack sneaks his way back. On. Okay, C4 blown up, goes for the throw, it's not enough to kill. Try to go for the trade, does get the stage spike, it is gonna easily make it back here. So 143 on Pikachu, still at kill percentage, and the four tilt very easily gonna close it here, even ish now. Yeah, well looking done. Much better for blue. Well, we've said it, you know, final form Omega isn't until after he loses his first stock. So blue t uh, Green Team's gonna need to be very careful about how they approach at this point forward. Ooh. Back here comes through. Can he find a spike? No, instead they try to go after MBD. I like the idea because just try and like go get the character who has a worse time at disadvantage overall. That chase all the way to the sky. Does he get him with the Sonic Blade? No, he committed fully to the bit. It does not find its mark though, and that's a free punish with the up smash. Oh, sticks ESAM 2, the most dangerous delivery device in the world. Able to get the stick, doesn't get the kill though. There's a there's a line I said years ago, I'm gonna bring it back up. Every time I see MVD put the C4 onto ESAM, all I hear is, who get him, little guy? <laughs> <laughs> right now, uh, MVD does fall off the top, and Pikachu isn't that heavy, so this isn't that difficult to find a knockout pretty soon. If Sora gets one good read on, uh, on like a falling Nair and top smash. Yep, up he had a shield, another good option there to be able to try and burst this stock away when he can. Back throw coming out. MVD immediately answers. Here comes up. Uh, yeah, here comes Isam off stage. The thunder won't be enough just yet though, but they both go off stage now. Bear comes through. Nikita's gonna go ahead and find his mark on Sora off the top. Sora Sonic Blade, you're gonna find his way in, but Omega could not get back to stage because the insanely good edge guard from Isam. Go get him, little buddy. Start to throw. Still stuck though. 
Thunder How? actually blows him away. Very nice. Nikita is blocked as well. Oh, Whoa! good read! Good read on the day. Uh, air dodge out. And now, what is a very difficult task? It's not an impossible task. It's difficult, but it's doable now with one soccer piece. Back air. Very nice. A good burst option to be able to represent there. Try to go for the parry. Not going to get anything for it. Air dodge comes out. He said maybe too much respect on that one. I think it's one of those moments where it's like, look, if I overcommit, I lose. So let me just keep it safe. But uh, so far, Fallen playing incredible, but the parry bait off of the t -Jolt. It's such a good option to force that out. Instant coverage with the dash attack. It's bait. Pikachu's one of the few characters that can make you parry and punish you for it, as yeah, we just saw. Uh, I got I got a side to say, though. Um, I don't know if Fallen can hear me. Travel more, please. I am a big fan of the Sora. I no, am, I am, I am very impressed by what I'm seeing so far out of the Sora. It's been phenomenal. Uh, the awareness, the uh, ability to, it may, you feel like you can because it's Sora, to go off stage too much, to do too much on shield. Yeah. But he's not. He's playing safe Agreed. enough, and I'm really impressed by it so far because they brought it all the way back at the end in an incredibly close set against uh -oh. one of the teams we expect to win the whole thing. We're swapping DLC. Fallen, I no longer want you to travel Don't more. I was so happy <laughs> with your sword, and then you do this. That's crazy. Say, why, why, why? <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Well, I'm just playing. So, I, honestly, this is smart decision specifically because of this stage. You just gave them Kalos, which means you now just gave Steve his favorite materials the entire time. He's going to have so much more access to uh, being able to minecart, being able to set up more anvils, uh, but also a little bit easier time to try and get around Pikachu's edge guards in general because of that higher platform and the walls. Okay, first for Joker, goes for it again, does get the second hit, Snake just barely able to make it to the platform here, but being able to shield with the grenade is more than enough pressure here to buy him some room to be able to make it back, but unfortunately hasn't got his feet back on fully solid ground until now. Extreme, I mean, honestly, this is kind of, this is going to be the theme of what we watch for this he match. Is, uh, he is, he is getting everything he wants. He, that, that, stocks are rising. Uh, that means the diamond, uh, diamond materials are on deck, not only right now, but also for the next stock. That changes a lot because that 100 plus is disappearing soon. Okay, not up to kill. Minecart does make it through. Very chaotic, but in the end, no stocks are taken here. Green team looking worse for wear, though. It's actually crazy that they looked that bit. That up tilt catching. The shield! It, it caught him, too. That's crazy. And they get both. And that all happened, by the way, because Omega was just able to 2v1 ESAM and MVD the entire beginning of the game. Yep. I mean, once Steve's got his uh, his materials, he's in there. That was actually really smart to use a quick attack there to reset the uh, the uh, the cipher there from Snake though. That was actually a really really good team play, as you can see from a very seasoned team. Exactly. I said those are the, these are the plays you see from people who've been teaming together for years. But Ooh. that Pikachu falls at eighty seven percent. Green team already down to three. Okay. Ready to connect. It will get the trade with the forward air, but a trade never in your favor when Steve is the one returning the punish. No. What even is the answer right now? I think the main thing is your target focus gets put onto Steve. <laughs> okay, the answer is don't let that happen, bro. He just choked. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's I, see, man. That <laughs> Come on. <laughs> well. All right, we'll start looking at game three potentially because now blue team is up a significant margin here. Um, and that until even there will not be enough. Of course, Kalos having some uh, extra height to it. Do they close out Omega? Omega is impossible to hit sometimes in these situations as they're really clutching up this game too. Okay, dash back with the stage again. Trying to go for the mining still. Avoids the, you know, Pikachu trying to do that Guile stuff. Chase it like a sonic boom, but not able to get too much here. Gets the fourth match. Not enough to kill. And the C4 is actually on Choker here. And dares to kill with it. And now MVD forced to play a one-player game that has now come to a close. The blue team dominantly taking it over that. And I say dominant, I mean it in the fact that they literally couldn't get to Fallen, who was able to mine out his entire win condition by himself. And... Omega was able to separate the two of them. The Omega's ability to clutch up when they need him to the most has been phenomenal. Like, it, yes. enough words cannot be said. However, it is still MVD and ESIM. They had yep. a very good game one. Things happen sometimes in game two. But a big reason why they are number one seed and why I've consistently held Ws in 2v2s is because they know how to rebound from this. And I'm curious to see what they do going into game three. Yeah, I mean... Oy. Oh no! Yo, this is <laughs> listen. I know that this is a uh, something that I've seen a lot of people have a lot of opinions about. 
man. They're looking at the two strongest pushers of it over on the green team right there. <laughs> right now, they're saying Lila is a beautiful stage, and it got left open. Therefore, we are going yeah, to listen, go to it. If you've got Snake, why, why wouldn't you? I think it's a great call here. Pikachu, it's a, too. Uh, yeah, exactly. I mean, both characters are thriving out on it. I mean, Snake being able to use the slants to amazing effect here. And it, well, Broly's just hard to see his projectiles on the stage. Keep it a buck. Yeah, platform resets are plenty. Combo uh, resets are plenty. Uh, Pikachu's ability to control those platforms with T-Jolts. Uh, Blue Team's going to need to just be that much better. Uh, uh, right now, uh, it, you have the ability to kind of jump over those platforms too to get in on Fallen, so he can't mine. Look at how minimal he's been able to mine so far. Okay, trying to go for the up smash a little too far. Looking for the jabs. I love that jump back. The decommit so smart by so much space afterwards here. And his teammate goes back to fighting it out. He gets a little bit more mining in, but not enough to be uh, not too consequential yet. No, not just yet. That back air does come through on the ECM though. And one of the things that they couldn't solve before was that Joker. However, sending their own teammate into the Joker was able to find them a mistake. And he accidentally takes out falling off the top. Trying to hunt out, find the shield break here with the anvil. Back air comes through, jump is taken, and tries to go for the spike, but a great high recovery. And clutches it to the ledge. He just flew right over everybody, completely uncontested, like, don't mind me. <laughs> just getting right to the ledge. But uh, Green Team, now with a good lead. Uh, MVD going off, excuse me, ECM going all the way off stage, trying to maybe look for a Thunder play. Can't find it, though, as MVD does get caught for trying to go help him. He's gonna try and go for the mortar here. Order, not enough to kill. Goes for the glide. Oh, oh, what a stall. Yeah, that was good on Omega, too, to put that back air out to force e, uh, ECM to second guess whether he would double jump at that or not. I bad air dodge. Was expecting to have to tech there. Gets baited out by the falling uh, back air. That is tough. This is why we're saying, even with that game two, the way that it went, ECM and MVD have been here before. They know how to rebound from these situations. Omega and Fallen have had some incredible comebacks so far, and a big part of why they got that W against Anathema and Psychotics earlier. Can they repeat that success right now? Who knows? But they need it soon. Arsene is nowhere to be found anytime soon on this stock as he falls, and now they have two stocks left. Absolutely, what? but that's a big trade out what there. He's able to 55. I don't know, Snake is gone. <laughs> Metal but Gear he said, finally, the, the weapon to surpass Metal Gear in Anvil. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> it wasn't switching the controller for it after all. It was an anvil. But right now, can they keep this lead? MVD needs to kind of make sure that he keeps ECM safe because Ooh. that is starting to climb. That was close to a fourth smash connecting. That could have possibly been it on ECM stock. Okay, found the up tilt there. Didn't get the true combo. Up tilt, and speaking of, almost gets it there for MVD. Trey comes out from Joker. Good high recovery from MVD to avoid any spike attempts or any back airs and such from uh, from Fallen. However, here goes ECM over on the left. Can they get him? Yes, oh, they he do! He's slinging that thing. He is force much everywhere. When you have Diamond, why not? Why not? It's safe. It kills so early. It's such a good move. Good stall away from the Thunder, though. Blast, stock a piece. Everybody on board. MVD's damage is starting to climb. However, Fallen is sitting at 123. He cannot get hit by an S smash. He gets away. The I think that platform helped, but the Thunder finds its mark. Omega is all by his own. Oh man, and uh, not even halfway to Arsene there. Tries to go for the swing. If there was a winning play, you had to take a shot in there, so I definitely respect the effort. But it does not quite work out, and that is the closeout. Yeah. Number one seed continues to move on. Well done, too, by ECM, knowing that if he just goes for the falling drag down fair and does the multi-hit, it's going to yep. be easier to linger. It's going to catch that tether recovery from Joker without being too unsafe. You go for that, quick attack back. But as you get back, if he, if you missed it, he, MVD's already there to cover it. But, um, th man, after the adjustments in game three from the green team and the blue yeah. team still brought that all the way back, nobody should be happy to see Fallen and Omega on the opposing side of their bracket Dude. and losers. I, it, it was one of those things where it's like you couldn't, you didn't think it could get worse because Fallen was already doing so many amazing things with Sora. Then you see Steve come out and he's so effective on it, being able to uh, effectively build his space, knows how to use the minecart correctly, gets the diamonds, and you see him. God, very bonds, bro. Swing it for nah, it. Bro, he's just got the like the one wooden <laughs> paddle. That's that you came home way too late and you got caught sneaking into the house move right there. Oh, my that one, God. la chocolate. Bro, I, <laughs> I hate when I come home late. And my mom, uh, Steve, jabs me. Well, you see a, di a diamond <laughs> chancla. You are in. 
<laughs> Actually, I should probably put stop oh stop God. because somebody's gonna suffer because of that. <laughs> um, I was gonna say incredibly well done from uh, Fallen and Omega, but an even better job done by ESAM and MBD yep. to rebound after that game two and what was a very solid game two for them at that. But they just did not care. They had Lilat available to them as well. But I think even without Lilat, they were gonna rebound, and that puts them into only <laughs> winner semis yeah, of the quarters. 